Hello everyone. Thank you for coming out today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. A final year student has just committed suicide. This is a 400 level student of the Federal University of Ducey, Jigawa State, who has been identified as Abdul, has reportedly committed suicide after his own girlfriend cheated on him. And the disease who is a mathematics student described as a first class material reportedly drank a poisonous substance suspected to be sniper. And according to reports, his girlfriend identified as referred to a 200 level student of the same institution allegedly ended their relationship and went to Canada to spend Valentine's Day with another guy. And then when her boyfriend noticed that she had left for Kanu and he was informed that she was with another man, he decided to kill himself. Guys, is this worth it? Is this worth you taking your own life? And thus his girlfriend, you can see there, you can see his, his fellow students has gone on their Instagram to post information and to post tributes to him. You can imagine that you would do this kind of a thing to your own self and come to think of it. Would you kill yourself for any man or any woman? Why would you do that? Why would you take your own life? And he is even a first class student of the mathematics department. But it's so terrible and so depressing when you see something like this. Why would you take your own life? The other day, it was a man who also took his own life as a result of his own wife cheating on him. Why? The other day, it was another woman who took her own life when she just found her husband with another man in bed. You can go, there's a video I had posted a few days ago. I posted that video that was right on Sunday about a woman, a very young, beautiful lady. She just found her husband in bed with another woman and she decided to take her own life. Okay, right now the husband is living his life. And nobody is going to arrest him because he didn't commit the murder. That's the bad part about taking your own life. Because the other person you've taken your life for moves on. Nobody can hold the person responsible. They will only say you are the cause. But the person can never get arrested because there is no, no evidence that you killed him. He took his own life because of you and you're living your own life but do people even think about this before taking their lives it's so painful this is a young man and look at he has a lot of prospects ahead of him a first class mathematics student then why do this to yourself there are so many other ladies there are so many other ladies that would even want to be with him knowing that he is even an intelligent guy he's a final year student who would not want to be with an intelligent guy with prospects like that? Then why kill yourself for one person who has decided and made up her mind to travel all the way from Jigawa State to Kano State to go and have an affair with another man on Sunday, which is Valentine's Day? If she doesn't want to be with you anymore, it's very simple. This is a relationship. It's not like they are married. You just move on with your life. Why? go through the act of suicide you know it's painful when you see people do things like this there's a young man who i'm sure had big dreams and then you cut it off for the sake of a woman betrayal is very painful it's heartbreaking everybody knows that it's really painful that's the worst thing you should do to your fellow human being betrayal but notwithstanding, once someone has betrayed you, it obviously shows that that person is not meant for you. That person shouldn't be part of your life. It's 
better for you to quietly walk out, let the person be and live his or her life the way that suits him or her. Why did you just decide to take your own life? Now his family and friends are all mourning his loss. Healthy looking young man like this. It's not worth it for you to kill yourself for anybody because if you analyze this whole thing, you're killing yourself for someone who has even pushed you aside. And what's the difference that when you kill yourself, this person decides to change? The person keeps on living his or her life. The person will say, well, I didn't ask you to kill yourself. The person will not want to put any blame on himself or herself. The rate of suicide is increasing every now and then. Virtually every day you hear news of someone taking his or her own life. It's like a norm. It's like a tradition now. Why should that be so? There are a whole lot of things happening around the world that I know that some people right now are even depressed. A lot of people are struggling with depression, struggle with sickness, struggling with the stay home, struggling with lack of job, struggling with a lot of things. It is not easy. When you find yourself in situations like this, you need to share what you're going through. I'm sure if this guy had shared his pain and stayed in the midst of other people, in the midst of friends or people that loved him, he wouldn't have had the opportunity to take his own life because no friend or family member will want you to take your own life. Please, when you're heartbroken or depressed or betrayed, please speak to somebody, share your pain and don't stay alone. Stay amongst other people that love you because the truth is, don't be surprised that some other girls are out there probably who were also wishing that this guy should have dated them. And then look now, he just decided to cut his own life short. Instead of you staying alone when you are depressed or when you are in a bad mood or when someone has betrayed you, please meet people that love you. There are a lot of people out there that love you that you don't even know. Even if it's not someone that loves you, even if it's a random person, just to speak out. Sometimes once you let your pain out of your chest, you feel better. And don't stay alone when you are in pain. Find someone to talk to. And while you're still practicing your social distance, still get to speak with somebody. Don't stay alone and hide yourself in that pain. Once you bottle up pain inside of you, you're not speaking it up. It grows into a lot of anger. It goes into dangerous thoughts. You start having very dangerous thoughts inside your head. And the next thing is you now explore it out, which would not be good for you or your family. It's such a pity that a young man had to take this kind of a decision. This is a very drastic decision he took for himself. You're in your final year. So all your years in school, you didn't think of it. All the stress you've gone through, all the stress your family have gone through to put you through school. You didn't think of it. You didn't think of your loved ones, people that love you. You never thought of that. You just thought of one thing that was the lady. And then you decided that you were going to die. How has that helped now? You know, that's another thing people should think about. Once you take your own life, how has it helped the situation? Instead, you have put your family through pain. They are now mourning at the moment, owing to the fact that their son, a young man like this, decided to take his own life. For what a woman? Please, no man or woman is worth you taking your own life for. Anybody who leaves you for another person, it's obvious that person is not meant for you. You don't have to kill yourself for the person. You don't need to endanger your own life because of another person. Think of your prospects. Think of your dreams. Think of your family that love you. Maybe that would give you more strength to see the need to move on with your life. There are better people out there. But some people have made up their minds, if not this person, I would die. No. I think that era has has gone right now because a lot of people are just being selfish. They think of themselves alone. They don't think of the other person. They're out for what they would gain. And once they are not getting that in the game, they move on to the next person they see. That is how some people are doing it right now in a relationship. So why do you decide to kill yourself for people like that? Some people are not contented. They stay here. They eat from here, eat from here, eat from there. 
They will just keep flying from one place to the other. Then why are you worried about someone like that? Okay, you can imagine a woman who will travel all the way from Chikawa State to Kano State to go and be with another man when you are in a relationship. So when you are married, what happens? If she can take a long journey like that, it's not like one hour journey. So you, you come to think of it, would you want to marry someone like that? And how sure are you that you marry someone like that person will still cheat on you? So why kill yourself for someone like that? Was it worth it? Someone who has decided and made up her mind to cheat on you while you guys are together. Was that worth you taking your own life for her? Guys, what do you all think about issues like this? When some people decide that they would take their own life over a man, over a woman who has che cheated on them. It's painful to see that he had to take his own life. And please, don't talk with people's hearts. Once you see that a guy loves you, please treat him right. If you don't want to be with him, you don't want the relationship anymore, it's better you you tell him, let him know before he, he, he sinks his heart into your own life. Don't take people's love for granted. This is what happens. Some people's hearts are very fragile. They can't withstand pain. They can't withstand betrayal. They can't withstand you cheating on them. Some can't take it. And that's why they take their own lives. Don't take any man's love for you for granted. When you see that a man truly loves you, please don't take it for granted. A man that truly loves a lady would go to any extent to make her happy. That is how some of these guys are. Except you're with a guy who is out there and he's practicing the act of domestic violence on you, then that's when you run away. But when someone is showing you true love, He's faithful to you. He's loving you. What else are you looking for? If you don't want this guy again, instead of cheating on him, please tell him that you are no longer interested. Don't endanger the life of another man who has given up his whole heart to love you. Don't put them into this kind of a pain. You don't do that to any man who is loving you. It's not the best at all. Never take anyone's love for granted. It also goes to the men too. Once you see a woman who truly loves you, who is faithful to you, please don't take her love for granted. Don't hurt her. Women are even more fragile than men. Appreciate her love, appreciate her faithfulness and keep treating her right. Rather than cheating on her and breaking her own heart or leading her into this act now that is common to people, act of suicide. Please appreciate her love. Spouse, appreciate yourselves. If you see a man loving you, if you see a woman loving you, please appreciate the person. Don't take the person's love for granted. Don't sweep it under the carpet and think you can do anything because this person loves you. That's what is in some people's head. That, well, he loves me and then I can do anything and get away with it. No. You'll be making a great mistake because you end up losing him in the point to the point of him taking his own life. And I'm sure you would not want to watch that happen. Both spouses, please never take anybody's love for granted. At the point you know that you are not interested in this person again, don't allow the person to move on with you. Don't carry the person along. But put a stop and let this person know, call his or her attention and say, I don't want to be with you anymore. I think it is more better. It could be difficult to say, but it's better than you cheating on that person and the person gets to find out. Always remember this. Some people's hearts are very fragile. They can't withstand pain. They can't withstand betrayal. They can't withstand you cheating on them, especially when they love you wholeheartedly. Please don't do that to anybody. It doesn't pay at all. Don't be a party to contribute to someone else's death. And please, guys, committing suicide for anybody, it's not worth it. Killing yourself for a man or a woman is not worth that at all. Instead, move on with your life. I know that that person is not good for you, is not meant for you. There are other people out there that will even treat you right, treat you better. Please be patient. 
and let that person go. It could be painful, but time they say heals wound. Allow time to heal that wound in your heart. Don't take your own life for any man or woman. It's not worth the risk at all. Friends, what do you all think about this? Please, whatever you have to say, you can put that down at the comment section. Please don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell. And please do subscribe so you get notified each time we upload a new video. I'm here today to talk about how to start up a new YouTube channel. So for those that are looking to start up a new YouTube channel, probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it, or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start. That's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done not just the easy but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own youtube channel this is a teacher he is really successful with his youtube and he has been a teacher for so long now. Teacher is Matt Pa. He's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own YouTube channel. No stone unturned. Every step of the way, he's going to lead you through it. You have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's Matt Pather. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver. You can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step tube -step mastery class every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos he is leaving no stone unturned like i said so for those that are seeking for how to start up their own youtube channel this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain at the end of your class you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own youtube channel it's going to be like an abc class starting from the scratch so please for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to Matt Pa's class. He is going to give you the whole content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch. Like I said, and I'm going to repeat, he's leaving no stone unturned. And it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint, no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything, you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. He is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers. And even if you go elsewhere to search, you'll find out that what he is saying is actually true. He wouldn't mislead you. 
So please, for those of you that want to start your own YouTube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on YouTube, please go to this link, click on the link below. So you will have access to the teacher. That's the teacher there. You can see and see his success. You can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matpa himself. This teacher, you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he's going to give to you. So friends, do not forget to click the link below so you have access to MathPass to Mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for YouTube you will really need to start your own channel. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you once again and God bless you all.